welcome to civil engineering online so today's video is design of pre stress concrete structure module 4 design of sections for shear topic is numerical on shear design of psc members with ravi b tilaganchi so continuing with the previous video question number 5 a psc bm 250 into 1000 is subjected to shear a uh, 420 kN at a section under working loads the effective pre stress in the tendon is 750 kN which is inclined at an angle of 10 degrees with a horizontal at a section the allowable principal stress is so here the allowable principal stress is 0.8 mpa that is newton per mm square estimate the principal tension in concrete and comment on the necessary of shear reinforcement assume fy is equals to 250 newton per mm square use elastic method so starting with the solution part cross sectional area is going to come as 250 into 1000 which is 2 lag 50000 mm square and i moment of inertia when we substitute bd cube by 12 we are able to calculate it as 2.083 into 10 raised to 10 mm raised to 4 shear force v is equals to 420 kilo newton p 750 kilo newton theta angle is 10 degrees which is given shear force in concrete is equals to vc is equals to v minus p sin of theta So VC is equals to 420 minus 750 sine of 10 degrees, 289.76 kilo newtons. Considering the element at CGC, tau V is equals to VC A Y bar by I B. We have to calculate this part. So area of the element above the neutral axis. So which area will be coming in the above part? If we draw the rectangular section, when we draw the rectangular section of the particular given section so we are able to get this part of neutral axis so now this is neutral axis which we are going to take so area of element above neutral axis means this whole area so when we are considering this part of whole area so depth becomes as only 500 mm and the remaining depth is at the below but width will remain as it is of around 250 so that area is this part now y bar is how much y bar is center of this part section so this part section of center y bar is we have to calculate so this becomes as y bar is equals to 500 by 2 which is 250 mm tau v is equals to so substituting the values and calculating we get this as 1.738 newton per mm square since vertical precessing force is not given fy or sigma y is not given which is equals to 0 and fx or sigma x when we are going to calculate p by x p by a plus or minus p y by i plus or minus m y by i the element is at cgc y equals to 0 so element at cg center of gravity when we are going to consider the the y section means the y bar is equals to 0 y at this section is equals to 0 because from here we are going at the bottom fiber or we are going at the top fiber now we are calculating at this section only y bar becomes 0 for this reason m by y is also 0 p by y is also 0 so these two are going to get as zero values therefore fx is equals to p by a which is equals to when we are calculating p and area so 3 newton per mm square principal tensile stress that is f minimum is equals to fx plus fy divided by 2 plus or minus half square root of this particular formula so it is minus 7 point minus 0.79 newton per mm square which is much less than 0.8 newton per mm square which is given in the question so section is safe in shear when the section is safe in shear so but also need to provide minimum reinforcement as per the IS 1343 minimum reinforcement for providing we have ASV by BSV is equals to 0.4 divided by 0.87 FY so using 6 mm diameter two legged vertical stirrup so two legged means how we are going to take if this is the stirrup we have to go on the bending 
and we are going to bend the stirrup like this when this part is going to this. So, this side is called as one leg and on the other side it is called as another leg. So, for that reason we call it as two legged vertical stirrups. ASV when we calculate with 6 mm dia square 2 times 2 legged it is pi by 4 so area is this much. This value we are substituting in the equation only remaining part is what is the spacing of the bars. Spacing of the bars we get it as 122.9 mm. So, provide 120 mm center to center this completes. Then question number 6 a horizontal PSC beam of 250 mm by 1500 mm depth the effectively pressures of about 1362 kilonewton under the service load the shear at a section is 775 kilonewton the effective pressures at the section may be assumed to be acting at an angle of sine inverse of 1 by 6 with the horizontal the fiber stress in concrete under working loads is 0 0.7 MPa at the topmost fiber and 0 at the bottommost fiber. If permissible principal tensile stress in concrete is 0 0.7 Newton per mm square. Find the suitable spacing of 12 mm dia. So, 12 mm dia is given in the question. Vertical stirrups assume that all tension is to be carried by stirrups. Use elastic method. Solution cross sectional area is coming to about 3,75,000. Moment of inertia 7.03 into 10 raise to 10 mm raise to 4 p 1362 kilonewtons v 775 kilonewtons sin inverse that is 1 by 6 is equals to theta. So, sin theta becomes as 1 by 6 itself. Shear force in the concrete we have to find out this shear force in the concrete v c is equals to v minus p sin of theta. Substituting the values of v and p sin theta we get v c value as 548 kilonewtons considering an element at c g. So, element at CG we have to consider. So, this element is about cross sectional area. So, sorry for irregular drawing in the particular video. So, this is of about 750 which is the section we have to consider. This is the neutral axis we have to take it. So, tau V A Y bar by I B now comes. So, this is 500 by 2 and 500 by 2 by 2. So, means this is 500 by 2 is 750 for this value. It is 750. Now, remaining this part is we have to consider it as 750 divided by 2 it is. So, this is 500 divided by 2, 750 divided by 2. So, calculating we get it as 2.192 Newton per mm square. Since vertical precessing is not given Fy is equal to 0 for Fx stress distribution is given at extreme fibers. Now, we have to not calculate P by A and all things they have given us the stress distribution. So, stress distribution how it is being provided for us that is. So, they have given us in the question that the top fiber is having 7 Newton per mm square and bottom fiber is having as a 0. So, this is 0 here and we are having 7 Newton per mm square at the top fiber value. So, we need the value of about the fiber at the neutral axis. So, when we interpolate by the things we are able to have the value of about 3.5 as the Newton per mm square. So, therefore, f x is equal to 3.5 Newton per mm square from similar triangles we are going to calculate. Minimum principal tensile stress that is f minimum. So, substituting the values of fx and tau v, we are able to get the f minimum as minus 1.03. So, the given allowable tensile strength is 0 0.7 Newton per mm square in the question. So, this is 0 0.7 Newton per mm square in the particular question. 7 that is part of allowable tensile stress. So, which is much more greater than the part of valuable. So, this part 0.7 Newton per mm square is given this is 7 itself only. So, 7 Newton per mm since F minimum is greater than the allowable tensile stress the minimum is unsafe in shear. Therefore, shear reinforcement is to be designed. Now, inclination of principal tension plane with vertical planes is to be found. 
So to find that inclination with principal tension plane, tan 2 theta is equal to 2 tau v by fx minus fy. So theta is equal to 25.75 degrees. We are going to calculate. So using this, therefore inclination of principal tension plane with respect to horizontal plane is alpha equals to 90 minus theta equals to 64.25 degrees. Spacing of stirrups is given by SV is equals to ASV into FSV into sin of alpha divided by FCT into B, where FCT is principal tensile stress minimum, FSV is permissible tensile stress in shear reinforcement, not given can be assumed. So FSV is usually they are not providing, if they are providing permissible tensile strength, they may provide some value or you have to assume it as 140 Newton per mm square in substituting for this equation only. So SV when we substitute that particular, we get the spacing as 110.76 mm. So provide 110 mm per center to center of spacing of stirrups in the B. Thank you for watching. So hope you have understood the topic, see you in the next topic. Thank you for watching, please like, share and subscribe.